Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh once again from learn-automation.com Today in this video, we are going to discuss how we can integrate Jenkins with GitHub via SSH key. So in our previous videos, we have seen how we can integrate Jenkins with GitHub via HTTPS, how we can clone the repository using HTTPS. But in many scenarios, you will see that you will not get that option okay due to it is disabled or you don't want to use HTTPS because you don't want to pass username and password every time in that case we will go with SSH key so let's talk about why uh, what exactly we are going to cover in this video we will talk about what is SSH key first how to generate this SSH key once you have this SSH key ready how you can add this key in your github account and how you can use this SSH key in your github repository to clone the uh, repository and how to use in Jenkins okay so what is SSH key if you remember when we started our uh, framework series we have cloned our github repositories via HTTPS right so that is one of the protocol HTTPS protocol in the same way SSH key is like access credential okay so we have public key and private key so in the form of SSH protocol so it is exactly similar I will not say exactly but yeah they follow the same principle they will help you to identify whether the request is coming from the authenticated resource or not okay so just like we do username password here also we do the same but in terms of key value pairs okay so we'll have public key and the private keys so this generally SSH keys you will see uh, mainly in the DevOps so we are using Jenkins and github which is majorly involved in the DevOps process as well so many companies prefer SSH keys uh, authentication okay because they don't want um, a specific user to be dependent okay let's say you're cl cloning a github repository or you want to push some changes then you don't want specific credentials to be passed so they need one ssh key which will be valid so that they can authenticate easily so it is also used for mainly used when you have some automated process you want to run some automated jobs and uh, Sometimes you can use this for the SSO purpose as well. So if you ask me what exactly is SSH key, then I have a very small video which is very informative. I will share that video at the end of the video. So you can watch that. For now, as of now, it's an access credential via SSH protocol, similar to username and password. So let's see how we can um, generate that. And this is the video which I was talking about I can show you right. okay this video I will put in the description just watch this video Things Very not that easy, you will but get all Grammarly can help public key this, this sentence is grammatically now. correct and already I will say animation the public can share that function so now let's talk about how we can generate the SSH key. So let me start Eclipse. So you guys, you can generate this SSH key using different ways. Okay, so we have keygen as well. You can also create this uh, uh, SSH key from your Git Bash as well. Uh, I generally use Eclipse for generating SSH key. This is the word Eclipse. So let's see how to create. Click on Windows click on preferences click on ssh key you will see network connection and you will find ssh2 here if you see right now all the ssh keys will go into this particular home directory and it will be generating two keys you can see here id dsa and rsa click on key management and click on generate rsa key so whenever you generate RSA key, you will always see it will say SSH hyphen RSA and a lengthy key and ending with RSA hyphen 1024. So you just need to copy this and store in a notepad. Okay. And uh, just click on save private key. It will ask you, do you want to save this private key without password? Yes. So you can see I already have two keys in my system so if I say yes it will override so for you you might not have this directory as well dot SSH directory 
so it will ask you do you want to create this directory so simply say yes and if you already have this directory then it will ask you to override and if you don't want to override you can give a different name as well in my case i want to override so it is asking again so i will say yes and you can see save two files one is private key one is public key okay if you want to see that uh, file so let's go to c drive users current user and dot ssh key right so these are the two keys if you want to check just open it this is the same key which we copied this is the public key and this is the private key so what we will do we just copy this and now this key is generated now you need to add the same key in your github account okay so what we will do uh, just let me this is our current github repository right just you need to go to settings in the settings you will find one option called ssh keys so it is asking um, you can add ssh key and gpg key so let's click on ssh key and i will tell this is uh, mukesh system and you can see it is asking generally your keys begin with ssh rsa ssh dss and so on so for us it is rsa and just click on add ssh key and it's done so you can see one thing called never use because just now we added so once you use this key it will turn into green color it means this key is currently used so what exactly we did now our system or this system is authenticated so let's say this is my system let's say this is one more system i have and this is your github account so what we did we added a key from this system and we added into github account so now from now onwards whatever push pull all the commands you will do or whatever operations you will do it will never ask for credentials because you are already authenticated but whenever you try to push something from this system it will decline okay it will reject so either you have to connect via https and then make the changes or else again you have to generate ssh key from this system and then you have to tell github that yes we are also authenticated source okay we are the valid person please accept our request so this is how we are creating a connection from your system to github via ssh key in the previous videos we discussed via https now let's see how to use it in your jenkins so guys this is the job which we created right and uh, last update was 27 days back yeah so let's go to configuration and let me go back to our framework as well So when you click on this you will get always two options okay you can either select https or ssh so when you're dealing with ssh just click on ssh and you will see uh, url will change and i will show you what difference it will make so if you click on https okay so previously this was the protocol right https now we are using ssh so you can see host is same username is same get uh, repository same only the protocol is changing and we are done now now if you go back to your job you will see here we used uh, yeah https and uh, here we have used credentials now when you're dealing with ssh what you need to do uh, okay better i will show you how you can create another job so it is just like an additional tip for you guys so whenever you don't want to disturb your original job or the parent job or the master job you just want to play with it and once all things are working then you want to finally make the changes better to create a duplicate job okay because in case any failure you cannot roll back so in order to create a copy just click on new item and here you can say um, i will say recreation test 2 
and when you scroll down you will get one option called copy from so if you type just regression test what it will do it will copy everything all the configuration details from this regression test job and it will create a new job for you okay so you don't have to make original like changes in the original job now let's go back to source code management and this time i will make it none because i don't want to pass any credential and here i will just add ssh key so not ssh key uh, git cloning url of ssh and that's all now if you click on save and when you try to run this and let's see how it behaves and yeah it is trying to connect so it is cloning the git repository and it is done and if you want to see that uh, ssh key now you can see it turned into green color and it says this key is productively getting used Okay, and it will simply run your test so whatever your job is it will simply run as of now I will stop this because it will simply start a test and it will close right so this is how you can clone your github repository via ssh key how you can create uh, this is the additional part we have seen how to create a copy of your job and uh, how to use it so guys that's all I have for this video Hope this is clear for everyone and if you still have any doubt then let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a nice day guys bye bye